Hi everyone and good morning from Amarillo, Texas, where today we're here at Wonderland, a amusement park I have never been to before. They have some unique looking roller coasters as well as an old classic dark ride, so I'm really excited to check this place out. In this video, we're gonna show you everything Wonderland has to offer. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. Let's go explore. Hey, thank you. Oh. The park's most family friendly roller coaster is the Hornet. And uh, this roller coaster I think is neat because this used to be at Six Flags Astro World over in Houston. When it was at Six Flags Astro World, it went by the name Mayan Mindbender. You also kind of sit by yourself or cuddle seating with one other person. Um, a little bit of a funky roller coaster, as you can see. It doesn't go overly fast or do anything overly exciting. But I just think it's kind of neat writing a piece of like roller coaster history that this used to be at a different park that no longer exists. And plus, those trains are really weird. Currently looking at the Cyclone roller coaster, which this is a quirky one indeed. It, it looks like it's built out of an erector set. And you you ride in this, for lack of a better term, bathtub, and there are no restraints whatsoever. One of the roller coasters opened here in like 1968. I think it was this one. And Wonderland is definitely a quirky park, and this ride is for sure a quirky ride. Right in the middle of the park is a log flume ride. Man, you go uh, really, really slow around that top part there. You run for all, yeah. Yeah. Um, not a very large log flume, but hey, it does get very hot here in West Texas, so having water rides definitely makes sense. That'll probably get to the splashdown area in about three minutes or so. I did like how you could clearly see the show water for the drop part. It comes in there and goes out down at the bottom. Here it comes. All right, here comes the splash. And there's the log ride. It seems like the big splash log flume is actually leaking onto the midway. Getting to road, go down the first drop is a roller coaster named Mousetrap. And it's a model that you'll find in a lot of, a lot of smaller parks or traveling fairs. And um, they're pretty good fun. Uh, one thing with this, it does need to be a full train for the ride to operate. So earlier today, when it was not as crowded, the ride was not going at all. Also, the seatbelt is pretty tight. So, uh, like I was, I rode by myself, and I barely made the seatbelt. But it's still fun. You know it's going to be a good quality roller coaster when the guys have to push it from unload to load. For the best view of the park, you can check out the Sky Ride. Now, it's a Sky Ride only has one station, so it's a round trip. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but it takes you all the way through the front half of the park. Wonderland might be the smallest park I've seen to feature a raft ride. Um, and it's like a very gentle raft ride. There are some very, very minor rapids. There's a couple segments where you go through tunnels. One of those tunnels does have, I wouldn't say a waterfall, but like shower. Yeah, yeah, like sprinklers. Yep. Um, your feet can get wet though. One yes. little... And there's also, there's, Wait. there's no restraints at all. No, it's very odd. But uh, it's kind of fun. Neat to see a park uh, with something like this. Without a doubt for me, the star attraction at the park is the fantastic journey. It is like an old timey dark ride haunted house. It's a classic. Dark yeah, and it's really long. Like, it's probably like a four minute long attraction, I would say. Um, some scenes in there are actually pretty like, there's a scene that's like two, two stories tall. There's some animatronics, there's some old style gags. I like on the tri lift hill, they, it yeah, was kind of really, trippy. Yeah, it's, it, the whole thing, there's other like a classic spinning tunnel. It is a very cool ride. Um, it is not included if you have the lower level of wristband. So it was a $4 upcharge, but definitely one not to miss. Easily the biggest roller coaster in the park is the Texas Tornado. It is the red, white, and blue double looping roller coaster with some really bizarre looking loops. It is also by far the most frustrating thing about Wonderland. You see with Wonderland, you, there's a cheap wristband. We're here on a Sunday, so the wristbands were like $22. But they don't include the roller, this big roller coaster here. It's a $4 upcharge, which mm -hmm. is fine, 
but then they only send it with full trains. And since nobody pays that $4 upcharge, this, the park's biggest ride, has not run once in the two hours we've been here. No, we've only seen one other couple even like go Approach the station, approach. yeah. What a, a incredibly frustrating thing for your biggest ride in the park. We did walk by the Texas Tornado again later, and there are people like guests trying to get other guests to go on the ride so that there'll be enough people to actually operate the attraction. So there's a chance we might go on. So the recruitment process did indeed work. They had enough guests to uh, send the train. And the ride was pretty fun. Yeah, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. No, pretty smooth. The loops were forceful. There's uh, not really airtime, but it's kind of takes a, it's kind of a quirky route. I guess they probably used to run about two more cars. But yeah, I did not think I was going to get to go on this ride. The air gates are very neat. Yeah, so the gates operate. He has a, like a big lever and it just pulls that and it physically moves all the gates. But yeah, it was, it was a quirky roller coaster. Um, out of the roller coasters here, I definitely think it's the best one. And I'm happy I got to ride it. Going around the front half of the park is a train ride. A very small CP Huntington style train. So this might sum up Wonderland in one ride. Um, it's the balloon ride that you see at all the amusement parks, except there's no balloons. Also, yes, there was nobody riding. So I made Molly go on by herself so I could get this ride in motion. I'm always a fan of bumper cars. I think they're, they're a good time. And you love the ones that you don't have to go one way. Yeah, you can get some good collisions on these things. On the very edge of the park, there's an antique autos ride. And it makes sense that the signage is done up for all Route 66 stuff. And for some reason, there's a steering wheel in the second seat. Molly, does your steering wheel do anything up there? Nope. It does nothing, okay. It does nothing. Oh, it's the blue whale. We saw that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Slow going here on these antique autos. A very unique ride here. I don't think I've ever seen this uh, ride before. It's for kids. You get it into a raft and it goes straight across. I don't know if it gets too wet or anything. Very unique. That it's only for kids. Got the scrambler going around. In the very front of Wonderland is the kids' rides area. You've got a carousel, a frog hopper, adorable little boats. I think this might be my favorite though. The planes with the eyes? Yeah, the little helicopters with eyes. You got little kids' bumper cars, and then. Um, Another very classic Hampton style ride with all sorts of different little cars. They've got these dinghy slides here. We ride on a little raft with one or two people. But I am both too tall and too fat to ride. A classic swing ride. And I'm guessing based on the three riders being as spread out as possible that this ride needs to be balanced to run. It, it does kind of much just make it kind of funny looking to watch. It does. And then behind me, Another ride that's definitely not functioning is a crazy couch. I would wager a guess this probably hasn't ran in a long time. And there's just random ride parts sitting on the midway. At the very end of the main midway is a Himalaya style ride. Another classic. The park's home to a couple of classic rides like the Tilt-A-Whirl. And then right next to the Tilt-A-Whirl is the classic pirate swinging ship. Although I don't believe the swinging ship is functioning today. But the Total World's going. So there's some rides I have no idea if they're permanently closed or just closed for the day. Like this Skyrider is a small monorail kind of thing. I don't remember seeing it on the website, but then there's like, there's nothing blocking you from just walking up there. There's definitely not open today. Yeah. It looks cool, it does go around like half the park. Uh, a couple more rides that are not running. You have this thing here, which I'm bummed this isn't running because I've never seen this ride before. I don't know what this does. And then they've got this weird looking drop tower that is also not functioning. This ride looks like I wouldn't like and you flip upside down. Yeah, you probably would hate this anyway. In the far right corner of the park, you will find a shoot the shoots ride, which is a big boat that comes down and splashes into the water. At least it does when it's operating. There was a signage out the front with a couple rides there were waiting on parts and this is one of them. 
two rides that are closed that I'm a bit bummed about is they have a big old rainbow ride. And these, it's not super common to find these anymore. I know uh, growing up, I would go to like the Great Escape in New York in Lake George. And that was always, there was one like right in the front of the park. And uh, those rides are really fun. And they also have a Ferris wheel that is closed. I love this. It's not functioning, but they have Porky the Paper Eater. Paper, paper, paper. The park does have an arcade. Um, older style claw machines. You really, you don't see these. <laughs> that one, that one is falling apart. And there's also some more, some more modern games as well. There's another indoor arcade, and I want to just mention how cheap the arcade games are. Like, if you want to play this Batman racing game, it is 50 cents. Yeah, usually that's at least a dollar. Yeah, piece. and even that, a lot of the more modern arcades like Dave and Buster's, it's kind of hard to tell exactly how much the games cost. Or like, this game is 25 cents. Like, it is a very cheap arcade, and they actually have some pretty modern games. So, uh, it's an air conditioning building. Yes. Look at this thing. Does this thing work? Oh, I might have to play whatever this thing is. Molly, what year do you think this mini golf course was built? Oh, 70s? I was thinking 50s. 50s? It is an upcharge, so it's not included with your wristband. I believe if you have the, the upper level wristband, then it would include mini golf here. But uh, definitely very, very classic feeling. And he's going to try his hand at a cream machine. Let's see, we're going for an alien. Which one are you going to choose? Or not? Oh, okay. It, just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's broken. You just ate your money. <laughs> and there we go. That is Wonderland here in Amarillo, Texas. It's a hard part to review because did I have fun and do I think it's a, a great value if you come on a Sunday when it's $22 per person to get in? That's a great deal. But then, man, you walk around and there's like, uh, probably at least a third of the rides are closed. I have no idea what's permanently closed. They're just like they're, random parts scattered on the midway. Their policy is corky. Of yeah, like guests trying to recruit other guests to make the big roller coaster go. So that's a paid up church. Yeah. <laughs> so I had fun, but it also kind of sucks. So I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe the place. Um, yeah, it's it, interesting. It's a very different place. I love the dark ride. And I mean, the rides are fun. The rides it, are quirky. They're weird. It's an old classic. Yeah. Amusement. Park. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the double looping roller coaster, the Texas Tornado. The dark ride is a gem of a dark ride. The Hornet had the weirdest Weird. restraints. Yep, it, and, then, and then the Wild Mouse Coaster had no restraints at all. All right, there we go. That's Wonderland. I had fun. I got a good value. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.